Africa is creating a new ocean. The African continent is gradually dividing in half, which is an unusual phenomenon. Although it's not always been simple to witness tectonic plate shifts that cause division, modern technological advancements have allowed scientists to finally investigate the process in depth, leading to a better understanding of the causes, mechanisms, and potential effects of the fragmentation of the African continent. The creation of a new ocean is just one of many effects. A new ocean is being created by African tectonic plates. Molten lava rises and creates a new seafloor when the continental and oceanic plates separate. Rift valleys, mountain ranges, and submarine trenches will all be produced by the new ocean. The new ocean that forms as the plates shift will probably expand, creating a new ocean basin for the area. Geologists predict that the new ocean will arise when Africa separates. A 35-mile-long gap was discovered in the Ethiopian desert in 2005 by an international investigation, which may be the beginning of a new sea. Seismic information from the formation of the rift is used to demonstrate that activities at the ocean's bottom are responsible for it. The Africa-Arabia tectonic plates that make up the desert have been gradually drifting apart for 30 million years. You may stand in the exact location where the continent is rupturing beneath the surface in one of the planet's hottest regions, a dry stretch of East Africa's Afar region. In this isolated region, three tectonic plates are slowly separating from one another. This complicated geological process is thought to have the potential to split Africa in two and form a new ocean basin millions of years from now. The clearest proof is a 35-mile crack in the Ethiopian desert. In one of the most geologically distinctive locations, new satellite data is assisting scientists in better understanding the transition and tracking the gradual formation of a new ocean. Christopher Moore, a PhD candidate at the University of Leeds in the UK, has been monitoring volcanic activity in East Africa in connection with the fragmentation of the continent using satellite radar. The Afar region is in a privileged position to investigate intricate tectonic processes thanks to its location at the intersection of the Nubian, Somali, and Arabian plates. Around five to 10 million years from now, Africa's new ocean is predicted to form. The Earth's crust is made up of 12 tectonic plates that are rocky and unevenly shaped. They bump against each other, leap over, duck under, and spread apart. The Arabian plate separated from the African plate 30 million years ago, forming the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. The Somali Plate and the Nubian Plate are being split apart by the East African Rift Valley in Ethiopia and Kenya. Yet, the reason for the continent's rifting is still unknown. The continental rift may be being pushed by a massive plume of extremely hot materials rising from the mantle beneath East Africa. Professor of Marine Geophysics at the University of California, Santa Barbara, Ken McDonald, claimed that GPS devices had revolutionized this field by enabling researchers to precisely detect ground movement over time. According to McDonald, GPS may detect movement as small as a few millimeters annually. We can comprehend what's going on better as GPS measurements rise. Scientists may be able to better comprehend subsurface activities in the Afar region with the aid of satellite data and field research. If the location is a living laboratory for the continental rift, the surroundings are challenging. It was referred to as Dante's Inferno by geophysicist Cynthia Ebinger of Tulane University in New Orleans, who has conducted numerous field research expeditions in Afar. The hottest town on Earth is called Afar. Temperatures drop from 130 degrees during the day to 95 degrees at night. Ebinger investigated a 35-mile breach in the desert of Ethiopia in 2005. According to her, the dramatic split amounted to the tectonic plate movement of several hundred years in a matter of days. Ebinger has since researched the reasons for these disasters. Ebinger thinks that Afar's explosive outbursts may be caused by increasing magma pressure. She compared it to overfilling a balloon and creating enough exterior tension for it to pop with little effort. Events that will alter Africa. The Afar region's plate boundaries are all spreading at different rates, but their combined forces are creating a series of mid-ocean ridges where a new ocean will form. The East African Rift Valley will be flooded by the Gulf of Aden and the Red Sea, which will merge to form a new ocean and separate that portion of East Africa into a separate little continent. 
Three plates split apart at different rates. The two African plates are separating at a rate of 0.5 to 0.2 inches per year, while the Arabian plate is moving away from Africa at a rate of one inch per year. Despite the slowness of the rifting process, researchers believe that there are signs of it. As plates separate, an oceanic crust forms along ridges. It has been noted that the density and composition of oceanic crust differ from that of continental crust. Kenya Broadcasting Cooperative reports that the idea of a new African ocean has many people in disbelief. According to Dr. Edwin Dindi of the Department of Geology at the University of Nairobi, an ocean may be developing along the African Rift Valley's eastern branch. The Rift Valley's eastern arm is fairly active, as seen by the regular tremors that surround it. Yet it will be a very long time, possibly millions of years, for such an event to occur. 4.5 billion years ago, the Earth was formed. Melting rocks pushed through the columns to create the supercontinent and the continental shelf when the crust of the continents formed 3.2 billion years ago. Tectonic plates are constantly moving, colliding at divergent plate boundaries and subducting beneath one another. Africa, South America, North America, Europe, Asia, and Australia were all formed by this action. The East African Rift Valley, which is continuously widening and may eventually become a new ocean in Africa, was also created by the ongoing motion beneath the continental crust. But it will take millions of years for this to happen. It won't happen right away. The thickness around the Rift Valley has decreased from 40 kilometers to 35 kilometers during the course of more than 30 million years. Therefore, it will take a very long time to lose another five kilometers. Once you cross Wajir, you can no longer see the Rift Valley. Instead, you can only see the depression due to the sediments that have covered the rift over time. One of the greatest rifts on Earth, the East African Rift Valley, also known as the Afro-Arabian Rift Valley, extends from Jordan in southwestern Asia to Mozambique in eastern Africa. The system's typical width is between 48 and 64 kilometers. The big projected divide's repercussions are evident. Afar saw a significant alteration after the 2005 volcanic eruption. Melted rock that is cooled filled cracks in the desert. Scientists can detect this alteration thanks to sophisticated satellite data. Deep earth material comes to the surface and forms oceanic crusts in the ridges as the tectonic plates divide. This is a rare opportunity for researchers to examine these behaviors because most of them take place in the sea. They have a better understanding of tectonic plate movements because of the afar desert fissure. Seismologist Dr. James Hammond from Bristol University has been researching the Afar Desert. He thinks a 20-meter Eritrean landmass blocks the ocean, and some areas of the region are below sea level. A new ocean will arise if the water floods the cracks. Floodwaters will sever Ethiopia in two. It's anticipated that Somalia and a portion of southern Ethiopia would turn into islands in the Indian Ocean. In Kenya's Rift Valley, a significant crack appeared in April 2018. It's been cited as evidence of the fragmentation of Africa. The cracks appeared at the same time as normal earthquakes. Along a brand new tectonic plate boundary, cracks developed. Researchers found that something else was responsible for these significant land cracks. Subsurface soil erosion and not tectonic plate movement was the reason for the crack. The erosion was brought on by the region's heavy rainfall. In Kenya's Rift Valley, Large layers of loose volcanic ash from earlier eruptions have been washed away by rainwater. Continents have previously been divided. Oceans and continents did not exist 300 million years ago. Back then, a map would look entirely different. There were just two continents and one ocean, Pangaea and Panthalassa. Pangaea divided into the continents we know today 100 million years later. Oceans were also separated in Panthalassa. Almost all of the land masses on Earth were formerly part of the supercontinent Pangaea in the early history of the planet. Panthalassa, a global ocean that ringed Pangaea, was finished by the early Permian era. The supercontinent began to break up during the early Jurassic era, eventually giving rise to the present-day continents we know and the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. It seems that a fresh division of the landmass will occur. Africa will eventually turn into a collection of archipelagos encircling a sizable portion of the original continent. According to researchers, the birth of an ocean during our time is a blessing. Researchers and specialists will be able to better understand earthquakes and volcanic eruptions because of this event. 
not just Africa is at risk of fragmentation. Across the world, rifts and fissures are beginning to appear. Iceland, which is located 8,000 miles away from Ethiopia, might potentially split. Between Greenland and Norway is where Iceland is located. It is known as the country of fire and ice because of its disparate topography. There are volcanoes here alongside the ice. The North American and Eurasian plates encircle Iceland. When these two plates separate, Iceland is in danger. The country might divide into three. The plain is becoming more fractured and the ground is rifting in the central part of Iceland. Actually, it's dividing along a ridge that runs from north to south through the center of the Atlantic Ocean. As the North American and European continental plates move westward and eastward, respectively, new crust is emerging from the rift between them. This geologic event takes place almost entirely underwater, with the exception of the region where the mid-Atlantic ridge bursts onto Iceland. Earth holds a lot of surprises. How humans contribute to these geological upheavals is a mystery. We must enhance our environmental practices if we want to protect the planet for future generations. The Afar Desert in Africa saw the first continental split that had an impact on modern humanity. Who would have thought that one of the world's hottest and driest deserts would give birth to a brand new ocean? If we have contributed to past geological catastrophes, it's necessary to learn from them and change our behavior to avoid repeating the same problems. The African continent is gradually fragmenting, and a new ocean will arise as a result of the rift valleys. The tectonic plate movement that is causing this continental division will take millions of years to complete. The terrain and climate of the African continent would be significantly impacted by the creation of a new ocean, which would have worldwide effects.